appreciate everyone coming. Uh, obviously, this is a special day. I uh, want to most especially welcome uh, uh, Sarah and Jared and their family that are, are back there. Hopefully, they can hear us here, but just excited about having everyone here um, and, and welcome them to the Penguin family. You know, it's not every day that you get to make, you get to make a decision like this. Um, and, you know, one of the most important things we can do uh, as an athletic director is make a decision on a head coach in any sport because um, uh, it's so critical. And I'm so proud of the, the work that uh, my staff has done, um, you know, the people on this campus and vetting candidates. And, you know, we got a lot of help from uh, people in the basketball community. Um, so, you know, I feel like we've really gone through this process and I'm, I'm really proud of the work that our staff that's sitting way in the back um, uh, did in, in vetting and asking questions and calling their friends at other schools and searching the internet. You know, when we started this process, you know, our goal was to, you know, hopefully find a coach that has successful head coaching experience, that has some experience at a major Division I institution, um, that someone that has made themselves a name for recruiting uh, and, and coaching, uh, someone that can walk into our state, insti our state high schools and that our, you know, those basketball coaches in those schools will know his face and will know his name. But, you know, most importantly, we wanted someone here that was excited about engaging this community, um, that was excited about engaging this campus and the students on this campus, um, and we're ready to make an impact uh, to the uh, student athletes that you see standing behind you because that's what we're all here about uh, is, is for them to have a great experience here uh, for them to feel great about their time at Youngstown State for them to win championships and get a degree so without further ado I'd like to introduce the new head basketball coach at Youngstown State Jared Calhoun Well, I'd like to thank uh, Ron Strollo. I'd like to thank President uh, Tressel, the Board of Governors. I would like to thank Ron's entire staff. Uh, they have been unbelievable today. You know, to it's been a very, very busy week uh, for my family and I. You know, we got back Saturday, um, actually Sunday, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We played the national championship game. Uh, unfortunately, did not win it. Uh, but I tell you what, when I received the call, I received the offer. Uh, it was a dream come true. You know, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long, long time. And the vision that Ron shared with me on the phone uh, was remarkable. Uh, it really was. It's a great time to be a Penguin. I want to introduce my family, if they could come up. Uh, my son, Jordan. Uh, my wife, Sarah, and Kendall, and Kennedy. Come on up. This is my crew. Um, you know, the other one's not coming. She's still sick from the trip to South Dakota. But my son just won a state championship. Very, very proud of him. He won a state championship uh, with the Vikes out of Villangela, St. Joe's. Um, you know, my wife has only been here a very, very short time. A period of time and is amazed how nice is how nice everybody has been and treated us but as I told her we're, we're undefeated right now uh, so that's not a surprise wait till we lose a game um, but I also want to thank a few people my head uh, high school coach Ted Kwasniak St. Joe's taught me about the values of relationships uh, Jeff Young Walsh University uh, one of the best division two coaches in the country uh, talk, talk, talk to me about player development on a daily basis, about getting your players better. Uh, Andy Kennedy, Ole Miss, about keeping the guys loose. Tremendous coach. Uh, 
would not be here today uh, without my college coach, Riley Massimino, Hall of Famer. Talk to me about family, being a family. Uh, and then obviously Bob Huggins. You know, Coach Huggins means the world to me. I worked with him for six years, taught me about toughness, taught me about grinding, talked me, to me about work ethic, taught me so much that I know. Uh, there's a guy that's staring down on all of us today, dear friend Dan Peters, uh, former coach, got me into business, okay, one of my best friends. Uh, all the assistants that have helped me along the way at Fairmont State, West Virginia, Cincinnati, and Walsh, those people have really, really uh, had an impact on my development as a coach. Uh, would, not, um, would not be here today if it wasn't for Dr. Maria Rose. She hired me at 30 years old at uh, Fairmont State. Uh, I was zero and zero, 30 years old, and she took a gamble on a young, energetic coach. And five years later, we played for the national championship. Uh, and there's so many memories that I have at Fairmont. I'll always be uh, grateful to that opportunity. When I think of the city of Youngstown, first thing came to my mind. Okay, I wrote, I didn't sleep all last night. I was so revved up for this opportunity. First thing I thought of was toughness, okay? And after talking to Coach Bo Pelini, um, togetherness, you know, coach, what Coach has been able to do here in a short period of time, it's been unbelievable. Pride, the word pride came to mind. Blue collar, Penguins, the Valley, Bo Pelini, football, Jim Tressel. These are all the words that came to my mind. One key word was missing, basketball. The Valley is dying for a basketball team to be proud of. So we talked with our players today. How are we going to accomplish this? What are we going to do? What's the step we take? And as I talked to Bo today, uh, and he shared some great stories. It, it was a great hour, and then I got a chance to, to, to talk with President Tressel and, and pick their brains, two Hall of Fame guys. Um, and, I, and I explained to Bo... In our program, we talk about six core values that we picked up uh, from Pete Carroll a long time ago. And not only do we want to win games, we want to win forever. We want people to choose Youngstown State for forever. This place has to be a part of their, to their life forever. Appreciation. We want our guys to be very, very appreciative of the opportunity to put on that uniform, to represent the great people of Youngstown. Grit. We've got to be gritty. We've got to be a nasty team. We've got to be tough. We've got to have accountability. We've got to have purpose. It's our job as coaches to lead these young men to have purpose beyond basketball. We've got to approach everything every day, whether we're in the community giving back, whether we're on the court with a tremendous attitude. And the last word is growth. We want our players to constantly continue to grow. Current players had a chance to meet with these guys today. I didn't recruit them. Did not recruit these guys, but I'll tell you one thing, they're my players. These are my guys. There's going to be expectations of wearing the jersey. We want them to dream big. We want them to dream of Horizon League championships, the first NCAA tournament appearance. When I got hired five years ago at Fairmont State, we had won eight games. People thought I was a young, cocky, crazy coach. Five years later, we won 124 games, put Fairmont State on the map. We're going to do the same thing here in Youngstown. We've got a great opportunity. We've got a great administration. We've got an all-star lineup of recruits that are coming. What we ask, we need support. We need our community to get around these guys. Rally around your team. Be, pr be very, very proud of the product that we're going to put on the floor. We're going to schedule people. We're going to play very, very uh, demanding schedule. And we're going to build on what Coach Slocum did at the end of the year. Coach that won 700 games, got his team to the semis, had energy, two games on ESPN. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm going to be out in the community. I asked the fans, we need some time. We need energy. Okay, we're going to need some money. So when Coach Calhoun comes a knocking, we're going to need some help because I'm going to approach this really, really fast, but I'm going to approach it with a lot of excitement. I cannot thank Ron enough. I can't thank Bo enough for taking some time. President Tressel, all of you guys, I'm excited to be in Youngstown. Thank you. <laughs> Questions?
turned out to be the biggest turnaround in school history with 15 win improvements. What makes you think you can have similar results here against Penn State? Well, I think there's a lot of things. I think the league is really, really good. Um, I think our facilities are really, really good. Um, I think we'll hire a staff that will identify players that will be able to go out and, and, and draw them to Youngstown State. Um, I think we have a vision. I think we have a blueprint. I think some people talk about it, uh, but I think you got to look at our success, some of the places we've been, uh, and we've been able to get it turned around. So there's a real, real um, – you know, possibility of getting this thing turned around sooner sooner than later. And that's what we're trying to do. Coach, with everything being juggled, three days ago you're playing for a national championship. Today you're here Tuesday. How did you kind of juggle everything? And did you kind of... Yeah, well, I'll tell you, uh, the world of coaching, uh, college athletics, it, it, it's not fair. You know, we played on Saturday. Reports came out Saturday night. Um, I give Ron credit. Um, that was one of the biggest factors for me coming here. He waited. Uh, he allowed me to coach my team. We were chasing a dream. Uh, there was other calls, but uh, with Ron's vision and, and he allowing me to finish the job at hand at Fairmont State, that meant a lot to me. That really did. Coach, how important is it for you to kind of be an ambassador for Youngstown State, one of the bigger sports on campus, a great job connected to the community? Um, and what do you anticipate doing to do so? Well, we got to get out in the community. We, we've got to eat lunch with people. We've got to have dinners. We've got to engage uh, a lot of people. You know, we've got to get the students behind us. Uh, we've got to get the supporters behind us. We've got to piggyback uh, on what Bo has done here. Um, you know, we got a lot of work to do, and we're excited about it. What we did at Fairmont, we were out in the community. You know, people, life's about relationships, and, and people want to know you. They want to know how. You treat your players, uh, they, they want to see the vision. And those are all things that I think, uh, you know, very, very soon you're going to see. You know, we're going to get out there. We're not just going to talk about it. We're going to be out there real, real soon. We've got to get through uh, tomorrow. We've got to protect our home turf. There's some very, very good players locally. Uh, we can't get into names, but we've got to protect our turf. We've got to start inside out. There's plenty of players in Northeast Ohio, uh, from the Valley all the way to Cleveland. You know, we've got to protect that land. Uh, we've got to get them on campus immediately. Uh, and then we've got to get to the Final Four. We've got to get our staff. And then we've got to build our chemistry with our kids. We're going to practice tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Um, and keep working. Uh, you, there was an earlier question alluded to your first year at Fairmont. And when there's a coaching change, I think sometimes there's an expectation that the first year will be, um, you know, rugged at best. But uh, based on your experience, what are, what are the one or two things Well, I think it starts with the current guys. I've got to recruit them. I've got to build relationships with these guys. They've got to be able to trust me. They've got to understand our language. They've got to understand our technique. They've got to understand it's about details. Um, you know, we've got to build it with those guys back there. They've got to be our biggest recruiters. You know, Coach Calhoun can bring them to the table, but, but Braun Hartfield and, and, and Cam Morse, uh, in, in Francisco, Santiago, and some of these guys back there, they got to close the deal, you know, and I think they're willing to, to, to jump on board. I think they've seen what we've been able to do uh, at other places. And, and as I told them, give us, give us time. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. How would you describe your style of play? We've seen it, the up-tempo, kind of frenetic style. Um, describe it for what thing we think we'll be able to see. Yeah, we want to we get teams on the run. We want to keep them on the run. So as we push the ball, we advance the ball. We want to get them in closeouts. We want to get easy baskets. If the defense levels out, we want to flow into something. Uh, we call it level one offense, which is our fast break offense. Level two is when the defense is set. And then we've got to flow into things. Um, you know, we want to shoot a lot of threes. We want to get in pick and rolls, create mismatches. But on the other end, we're playing really fast too. Most teams play uh, fast on offense or fast on defense. We're going to play fast on both. It's a unique style. You have to be in really good shape. I told these guys, anybody that doesn't want to run, uh, they ought to go up to, to, to Ron's office tonight and see if they can get a release because this team's going to run. You know, these kids all like to play fast. So I think not only do the kids like to play this way, I think fans want to see it. I think fans want a fast-paced game. They want to see the ball go through the basket.
They want to see dunks. They want to see alley-oops. They want to see excitement. Uh, and that's how we play. You know, it's been changing uh, the last two years, but you have to have the depth to do that. So the first thing's first. We've got to identify those guys. We're not going to sign guys just to fill roster spots. Uh, we're going to build this thing the right way. Yeah, I mean, it's all about you got to have a point man up top. You got to have length. You got to have athleticism. You got to have rim protection. You know, if you don't have rim protection uh, at the back of the press, uh, we're in trouble. Then you fill the gaps in between. The whole deal is get the ball up the sideline, uh, try to turn them. We get two on the ball, and that's how we play. You know, very, very similar to, to what Coach Huggins has done at West Virginia. We have added some of our own wrinkles that I think are really good. We have a zone press that worked really well. Uh, in, the, in the Elite Eight at, at Fairmont State. Sure, after it was all said, uh, what, what sold you on this Um, Kind of all the key words that I talked about. Uh, the people that are here, you know, it, it, it's so much easier when you come to a place that's really like you, that, that you fit in so well. You know, I went into Bo's office today, I know I've mentioned his name four times, but man, the guy made me feel like I've known him for 10 years. Same thing with President Tressel, same thing with Ron, same thing with Jamie, uh, you know, same thing with some of those other guys in the back. It's really, really, Youngstown's just a different place. It, it reminded me so much of Fairmont, uh, it, was, it was scary, you know. Yeah, last night about uh, 3 in the morning, I think Coach Paul, Paul Molinari, my assistant, he's coming with me. Uh, you talk about a guy that, that's been been all over the place, but he's done a tremendous job. He coached uh, Raleigh Massimino at Cleveland State. He was my college assistant uh, coach. He coached me, was with Greg Marshall at, at uh, Winthrop, you know, head coach at Wichita State. He was at UNLV. Uh, I don't do anything without Paulie. Uh, you know, if you're going to see Coach Calhoun, you're going to see him right beside me uh, because he's so good at, at what he does. And we were watching the tape, and we we're trying to figure these guys out. Finally, I said, Paul, let's just go work them out tomorrow. You know, I, th I think Big League's open tomorrow. We get Ron open the gym up, and let's work these guys out because you can see so much more when you get hands-on experience with these guys.